Here with reaction, Fox News contributor, former Speaker of the House, Newt Gingrich. Uh, let's start with the debate last night, get your reaction. Well, I think it was a great moment uh, for J.D. Vance. I thought he was remarkable. It's almost a case study that people could use to see this is how you do it, including taking on the CBS uh, moderator when she clearly was wrong and you know, just going right at her. I mean, it was absolutely the right thing. He was friendly. He was personable. When it was appropriate, he used things out of his own family, his own background. Uh, I thought it was remarkable. And you watched uh, Waltz, who really is not in the right league. I mean, Waltz shouldn't be out there. He's not a national player. He's not fast enough. He doesn't know enough. Uh, he's not confident enough. Uh, and I almost felt sorry for him because he'd been put in a position where, at uh, one point, um, J.D. Vance said, you know, you're, you have a problem because you have to play whack-a-mole because every time <clears throat> you turn around, something would come up where he'd have to somehow defend Kamala Harris. And I thought that J.D. won by such a big margin. I did a newsletter today at Gingham 360, and I said, you know, that a star is born. I mean, I think J.D. Vance now uh, absolutely vindicates uh, Donald Trump's instinct in picking him and represents the kind of clear, compassionate, but genuinely conservative and genuinely tough uh, leader that we're going to need for the future. And I think it was an enormous victory for uh, Trump and Vance last night. I can't tell you independently how many people use the analogy to me. Elmer Fudd, I mean, he was just out of his league. I don't think he's ready to be president, and I don't think Kamala Harris is ready to be president. And I did think that moment when J.D. took on the moderators, uh, he might have stolen that page from you because Chris Wallace was moderating a debate when you were running for president. And you just turned to him and said, that is a Mickey Mouse question. And it was extremely effective. And he got very triggered by that moment. Yeah, I, think, I, think, I don't think he ever quite got over it. Look, I, I think if you're going to allow uh, these left-wing, uh, self-important news people to moderate debates, you have to put them in a box. You know, they can't screw it up. They can't be biased. They can't come out and... and correct you, particularly, and by the way, every time they tried to correct him, J.D. Vance was right. He was right technically about the illegal status uh, of the Haitians in Springfield. It's, it's a fiction that they're here illegally. Uh, it's, a, it's a gimmick of the bureaucracy. He, he was right uh, in taking on uh, the, the law which allows a doctor to not take care of a baby if it's born uh, and is still alive after an abortion. And I think at least eight babies have died in Waltz's Minnesota under this new law. And Waltz was just plain lying. Uh, the law is very, very clear. What was impressive was that on every topic, J.D. was able to talk from facts, from knowledge, uh, and to do so precisely and at the same time communicate a human nature, his background. You know, for example, he understands the problems of the mountains of North Carolina because he grew up in the mountains. He, he is from Appalachia. That's the whole point of hillbilly elegy. Uh, and so I think he has a sensitivity to what it means to these small towns that are currently cut off and where, frankly, the Biden-Harris uh, administration has failed well, so badly that it should be a national scandal. What do you think of the state of the campaign right now? We have our pollsters coming up, a lot of good polls out for Donald Trump in the last two days. Your thoughts? Oh, I think Trump will—I will, will, tell everybody who asks me about this, make sure all your friends vote. If everybody votes who favors Donald Trump, he's going to win. His challenge is that he has a large—we've now reversed the two parties. Uh, we now have the challenge the Democrats used to have. The, the core base of Trump's support are people who are on, less likely to vote. So he's got to motivate them. This is why I favor voting early, because that means you've got your vote in there and they can focus on getting other people out to vote. If everybody votes, Trump will win, and my prediction is it'll be by a much bigger margin than anybody currently expects. I also think if you look at the Longshoreman strike, you look at what's happening in Ukraine, you look at what's happening in the Middle East, you look at what's happening in North Carolina, 
Uh, I think that the Biden administration and Harris can't possibly cope with that many parallel crises. All right, Newt Gingrich, great to see you. 34 days to go. Hey, Sean Hannity here. Hey, click here to subscribe to Fox News' YouTube page and catch our hottest interviews and most compelling analysis. You will not get it anywhere else.